Welcome to tutorial on Cadence Virtuoso. In this video, I will show how to design the XNOR gate using CMOS. The design and verification of XNOR gate is done using 14 nanometer technology. So let's start the designing. I have taken the PFET which is nothing but the PMOS with length 14 nanometer and width 30 nanometer. Similarly, NFET with 14 nanometer and 30 nanometer technology. I will arrange this transistor as per the schematic of XNOR gate. Let me copy this. Copy the N cells in pairs. Now you make the connections of this transistor using the wire. These two are connected. Connect the bulk with the VDD or source. Similarly, these. These two transistors are connected. And you can connect these bulks directly to the VDD. And these two transistors drains are connected. And this is where you take the output. These two transistors are connected in series. Connect this bulks. Connect the substrate or bulk here. Now the required connections are made for the design. So you can feed these through the inputs. To avoid the routing, I am using the concept of pointer here. So that you can use directly the variables. This is connected to the ground. Label this using the wire name. I have A as one of the input and B I indicates it is a B bar. Similarly, I have A I indicates A I bar and then I have B. So place A, B I, which is B bar, these two transistors are connected and this transistor and this transistor is forming a group. You can make the connection here, which indicates A, B bar, connection is series with A bar, B which is the expression for x naught. Again, we have A, B, I and A, I, B. Provide these inputs A, B, I, next A, I and B. Since we need to get A, I which is nothing but A bar and B bar we need to design the inverter. So for that, select the transistor, NMOS and 
PMOS. Make the connection for the inverter circuit. Provide the pin name as A, direction as input. So this is A. Provide the input and the output of this is what I am going to get is I am naming the output as AI, which is nothing but complemented form. And I need to provide the VDD to this. And you can bring the ground, ground terminal or symbol into the design and directly you can make the connections. Similarly, I need to create the B bar. So use the same inverter here and I will place just near to it and change the names to B and now it is BA which is nothing but the bar provide the output pin name is at v out connect the vdd here connect the vdd now you need to provide the vdc for that we get vdc into the design VDC and I need to provide two inputs for that case you use the V pulse create V pulse and ground is essential so use the same ground copy this again here I label this VDC or VDD with the name VDD the same name and the applied voltage or potential here is of 1 volt now you can see the highlighted version of this net highlighting is enabled here because of that you can see how they are connected connect this input as well provide the pulse input with the voltage of 1 volt and period is 100 pico pulse width of 50 pico and rise time of 5 pico these are optional values you can change or you can have your own values click ok i want to have the same clock or i'll change the clock here because i need to provide the b input also so connect this click on this and you can change the values so you can make pulse width of 100 and here you make it as 200 for different pulses check and save the design you can view the highlighting you can see that the net A is connected and how the VDD is connected B is connected how BA is connected so everywhere you can see this you can use the options here that are present 
like dimming it tries to dim it that means it shows only the cursor point remaining everything will be under the dim similarly you can use the other options like information balloons so you will have the parameters so i have provided the inputs as well as the outputs vdd everything has been done now you can just simulate the circuit so for that go to the launch ade l you can add the analysis right click edit i am simulating for 600 picoseconds of moderate accuracy i want to plot the output from the design i want to plot a b and its output so click okay then these are loaded into the adel window before simulation i need to specify the model file for this mos transistors so for that you need to set up that model libraries since i am using the ptm models i am using the 40 nanometer technology right now so you have to import all this these two 40 nanometer nfet and pfet which are downloaded from ptm models click ok once this is done you can click on netlist and run you have the outputs these are the results for the xnor gate for 1 1 it is 1 it is xnor gate so it is following the logical truth table of a CMOS XNOR 